the sights and sounds of an average day at TRG Motorsports in Petaluma. <laughs> and just steps away from the grease, gas and gears is the second division of Kevin Buckley's blossoming business. My wife and I have uh, several businesses but only enough money for one building. So Buckley's reputation as a winemaker is building. As a racer, it's established. He and his team have won all the big sports car races all over the world and now has moved his efforts to the bright lights of NASCAR. Um, they've done a great job of their marketing, the teams, the drivers, everyone there is just at the top of their game. And I really would like to take our operation and be able to measure ourselves you know, in, in that environment. The size of his operation is dwarfed by the Hendricks and Gibbs of the Sprint Cup community. And with the economy slowly crawling out of the toilet, sponsorship opportunities are difficult to come by. Oh, it's very fair to say that I am operating the team on a shoestring budget. We, uh, you know, we joke and say we're rubbing two nickels together. Figured we're going to try to do the first three races. That was our goal. Even when I said that, I even told the media people, said, yeah, TRG Motorsports can do the first three races. And I was going, oh, please, I hope we can do the first three races. And uh, here we are, 14 races later, we're still alive. And with the California boy, David Gilliland, behind the wheel, TRG Motorsports has qualified for every race since barely missing the Daytona 500. Gilliland's intelligence on the track has given his boss peace of mind. Be conservative, because I'll tell you what, that car that's in the trailer, your backup car, you don't want to drive it. <laughs> it's not very good. So he said, oh, okay, well, we'll be careful. We raced that first car the first four races. I don't know any team that ever does that. A top 10 finish this weekend in Sonoma would be a big victory for TRG Motorsports. And a race like this could really put somebody on the map if they did well. And it's kind of what we're hoping for this weekend.